Hi, this is Dr. Tamer Seshkin from Bari, Italy, 17th Annual ISG Conference. Uh, I have Dr. Carlo De Chiri? De Chico. De Chico. Dr. Carlo De Chico, who has presented this morning a beautiful uh, presentation about complication of endometrial with respect to ureter. Carlo works with Philip Chronix in Belgium. He's from Italy, actually. Yeah, from Italy. I want you, we, for the interview's sake, this is an internet interview, so it won't be as, uh, you don't have as much time. However, highlights of your presentation. I understand there's a significant medical legal uh, portion of the uh, legal activity against doctors involved in laparoscopy yeah. surgery, endometrial surgery for, for uh, complication of the ureter. I just run by your headlines and let the reviewers around the world learn from your presentation, please. Thank you. Yeah, uh, this morning I was presenting uh, our experience about uh, ureteral lesion in gynecology. And uh, especially because even if uh, we know that there's around 2-3% of lesion happening in uh, gynecological surgery, this uh, related to 6% of medical legal claims for obstetric and gynecology. So we, we know that this is an important issue for all the gynecologists. Uh, what about, we were discussing uh, mainly about the deep endometriosis part. So we had a big series of 1,500 uh, cases of deep endometriosis and we found out that 35 lesions were carried out after deep endometriosis surgery. And this is around 2% of uh, incidents. But most important, we found that when an endonephrosis preoperative was uh, detected, then the risk for ureteral lesion intraoperatively was of 21% of lesion. So uh, and this is very impressive if compared with around 1.5% of lesion against when you don't have any, any adrenophrosis. And this is very important in order to discuss about when, whenever to put a stent preoperatively or not, because we know that to put a stent is not without any risk. So to put systematically for every patient that uh, have to do deep endometriosis surgery, this can be sometimes maybe a disadvantage for the patient more than an advantage. And very important, we were discussing about the, the type of uh, repair you can do to this, this Before lesion. Before talk about the repair, how about stents with light, with uh, illumination? Does that make any difference? In my practice, I found yeah. them 